morning, everyone. So thanks for uh, joining us this morning for this uh, presentation. Um, I'll, uh, I'll introduce you to AppCourt Mine and also our main asset, the uh, Sleeping Giant deposit. So why invest in AppCourt? First, um, we're a growing development company. We have over 500 square kilometers of, ass, uh, of, uh, of land, all in the B2B region. Uh, our corporate office is in Rain Aranda. Uh, all the management team is from the B2B region, and we're all operators, mine operators and builders. Um, we're growing. Uh, we're a 24, a 26 million market cap this morning. A um, lot of potential for growth, especially with the Sleeping Giant mine. It's a fully permitted mine, uh, operational. The mill, the mill was just placed on care and maintenance last summer. Um, Sleeping Giant, uh, the Sleeping Giant mill was uh, uh, processing the gold from the former Eldo mine, which is also owned by uh, Abcourt. Um, we just completed a resource estimate for the uh, Sleeping Giant uh, mine. We got, uh, there's a slide a little bit later I'll show you. Um, there's growth for, uh, there's growth potential with the resource, with the, uh, with the diamond drilling, and also with all the other assets that we have in the camp. Uh, 2023 will be a very exciting year for us. Uh, we just completed the 43101 resource for Sleeping Giant. We're on our way to complete the PEA. We also have two other deposits east of the Sleeping Giant mine, which we are uh, doing the resource estimate as we speak. The board, uh, well versed. Uh, myself, I'm a mining engineer. Uh, there's legal, exploration, accounting, so well-versed board, and we're all from, um, we're all from Quebec. Uh, the board itself, we've got over 250 years of experience. The management team, that's a, an important step. If you want to build a mine, you need builders and you need operators, which we are. Um, I've been in the uh, gold mining camp for 16 years now, uh, 32 years operating mines. Where are our assets? The Sleeping Giant mine is 80 kilometers north of Amos, so about 150 kilometers north of Valdor. Uh, it's, uh, all the majors are in the Cadillac Fault, but there's a second set of fault system parallel to the Cadillac Fault, not as known, early stage, but that's where we are, and we're the only mill in the area. Um, the, uh, the mill is, um, to, to, well, you see the star number one, that's where the mill is located. And the sleeping giant deposit is directly underneath the mill. Um, we also have where it says five and six. This is the two other deposit, which um, they're further uh, about 80 kilometer east of the, uh, the mill. Uh, they're accessible through logging road. Um, the forestry industry is currently harvesting over there. So we have access to the land. Um, actually, uh, number five, you can access that with a, with a passenger car. You don't even need a pickup truck. Um, the Sleeping Giant Mine, uh, we just released the uh, 43101 uh, in December. You're looking at uh, 173, uh, 173,000 ounces of gold in the in measured indicated category and uh, 248 in the inferred. What's to notice here is there's 846 mineral mineralized vein within that deposit. It's, it's humongous. A lot of upside potential with additional drilling. Um, this is the first time there's a 3D model made on that deposit. In the past, it was polygonal, it was um, paper, like paper geology. So this is the first time we have a, a 3D model. Um, and we saw, like, the geologists are very excited now to, um, to get going with the next phase. Uh, we're in the bidding process right now to get the underground drilling going. Uh, the plan is to start a 15,000 meter drill campaign uh, starting this spring to, to continue to increase that, uh, that resource. One thing to note also is 98% of that resource is accessible. Um, the shaft is down to 4,000 feet. Uh, all the levels are already developed. So low capex to get, this, uh, uh, to get access to that resource. So that's 
that's what's going to be reflected in the upcoming PEA. So what we're doing right now is we're, there was a study done from a polygonal method that was done in 2019. Uh, back then in 2019, there was 83,000 ounces of reserve. Um, with this new classification, with this new resource, now that 83,000, it's, it's still there, but it's no longer reserved because we, we just redid the uh, resource estimate. So we're doing that right now. Uh, we're going to look at all the, um, uh, the potential around the sleeping giant mine also. Um, we're doing also the, the tailing facility, the deposition plan that's going to be incorporated in the PEA. Uh, we're going to have um, the lodging facility for the sleeping giant mine. Historically, Cambior, when they were mining it, um, the workers were being bused from uh, Amos. This is not a business model for 2023. People want to work seven in, seven out. Uh, they don't want they, uh, the schedule of commuting every day, um, 160 kilometers a day, it doesn't work. Plus, Amos, with the full employment in Northwest Quebec, Amos is too small to, to provide the labor for a mine like us. So we need to, we need to have access to the workers in Valdor, Rhinoranda, Lasar, like the entire region. So you need a camp for that. So now we'll be incorporated in the uh, PEA. So historically, Sleeping Giant has been, a, it was a high grade deposit, over 10 grams um, for close to 30 years, uh, close to a million ounces was extracted from that mine. When you see the 3D model I'm gonna show you later, you'll see in white, that's the million ounces that was extracted. And you can extrapolate with the current mineralization that we have, what the potential is. Uh, everything, all the infrastructure are in place. The permitting is all in place. So for us to start, it's more of the economic, do the PEA, do the engineering, and then start the uh, rehab of the drifts, the existing drift, do the rehab and, and get the access to the new gold zone. This is the geology model that was built in, 20, in 2022. So you can see that this is a section looking uh, north. So you see the trend going to the east, and there's um, in between what you see uh, to, the, uh, to the east and the main zone to the west. In between, it's just a lack of drilling. So there's, there's drill intercept in that sector. It's just that you need more uh, drill in order to make the uh, inferred category. Just a few examples. This is what I told you in... Um, and white is what the million ounces come from. So you look at the green, that's the, uh, the resource, and the, the orange is what's the potential to even make the inferred category just by adding additional holes. So this is just an example at the shaft bottom. So the, the, uh, the, um, the orange represent uh, mineralization that's not even in the inferred category. And one thing to notice is you see all these uh, little, um, um, I call them hockey pucks, but uh, it's from leapfrog, but all these drill intercept, they're not linked to anything. So there's more geology work to do on this. So it's not a, like a, the 3D model is a, is a continuous process. The, the uh, geologists are continuing to work on that deposit. So we believe there's way more to work on, but the, the resource estimate that was released in December. We wanted to have a snapshot and, and start the engineering so we can get, into, uh, get that mine into production. Another example, this is the, uh, the zone to the east. So, and you see the uh, in between, it's a little bit hard to see, but uh, there's drill intercept in between that just need to put additional holes to make the inferred category. And we have access from underground. So what are we going to do in 2023? First, well, we already did. Um, we, we completed and published the technical report in the end of January. Uh, we're advancing the PEA. It's coming along pretty good. It's going to be out in the spring 2023. Um, we're going to start the, uh, the expansion drilling, 15,000 meter drill campaign. We, we got the bids out. We, uh, we got the bids back from the uh, contractors. Um, Currently, the market, 
Uh, as you know, the capital market for uh, exploration company is, uh, it wasn't very good in 2022. So right now the diamond drills are available. The assay labs are available. So for us, it's, uh, we see it's, good, it's a good opportunity for us to begin the drilling. Uh, we expect cost to be way lower in 2023 than what it was in 2022-2021. Um, we're going to, following the PEA, of course, we're going to move towards a reserve estimate and end construction and uh, begin the production at Sleeping Giant. Uh, parallel to that, we're going to continue to advance the discovery and flood day deposit. Uh, these two deposits, 80 kilometer east, there is historical resource. So we're going to bring them to the today's standard and release them in the spring in Q2 2023. On the corporate level, uh, we're very busy as well on that side is we're completing the acquisition of uh, Junior's uh, Pershmex. It's a junior company in the Valdor area. Uh, there's, they have a very nice deposit, the Pershing Mini 2, which is about uh, 100 kilometers south of the um, Sleeping Giant Mill. It's, uh, it's a small deposit. They, uh, they got a bulk sample permit. We got the green light from the ministry to process that bulk sample at our mill. That's going to be done in the summer 2023. The 5,000 tons already broken. It's already sitting on a stockpile um, on their property. And then after the, um, uh, the, uh, the snow, um, like for the, the restriction on the highway, we're going to be hauling that material over to the sleeping giant mill and process it in the summer 2023. Also, I, I didn't mention it, but we have base metal asset. We've got two zinc deposit uh, that belongs to Abcourt. The plan for that is either we spin them out or we, it's a straight sell. But we're not going to give them away. They're, they're a decent grade zinc deposit um, from a former uh, zinc mine uh, about 60 kilometers north of Valdor. So we're going to explore uh, potential with those two uh, base metal assets. So to summarize, so we're a growing development company. Um, we're we're going to be producing in the short term because we got the mill, we got all the permits in place. So it's just a matter of advancing the engineering. Uh, we got growth potential with our resource just by adding more drills. Um, it's high grade. It's a high grade sector. So for for the investors, that's an interesting aspect. And in 2023, with the drill results, the PEA, the resource estimate, discovery flood day, uh, we don't believe we're going to stay very long at 25 million market cap.